guys good morning welcome back to another video happy tuesday i think it is um y'all i went to sleep without no scarf so don't judge me i'm still still doing the same shit huh still doing the same shit <laughs> my eyes are puffy oh my god good morning welcome to the vlog we getting ready to um take baby girl to school i have to work today um yeah, I have a lot of I don't have a lot to do today. I just have to I have to get my work done for the day. Um take baby girl to school, pick her up. And um yeah, it's just a regular day in the life. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. To all my new subscribers, welcome. To everyone, virtual hug. We haven't had a virtual hug in a minute. Mm! And um yeah, let's get the day started. Okay, guys. So I done drop baby girl off at school. I'm at the corner store waiting for my husband to come out. I gotta fix my hair because it's sticking out. It is what it is. Anyway. Oh, you guys, I'm so tired. Oh, I feel like I feel like no matter how much sleep I get, I'll still be tired. I need to start taking my vitamins again because when I was taking my vitamins, I had a little bit more energy. But I noticed too, working from home. I have to force myself to like get dressed, like not ne not shower, cause baby, <laughs> but like I have to force myself to like get dressed and like I could be, in, I could take a shower, put some PJs on, and be like that all day, and that's not good. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yesterday I didn't have no shipments to do, thank God, and I have one shipment to do today, so hopefully work will be like easy peasy lemon squeezy and um i'm sorry y'all it's just when i'm outside and then i start recording and talking to the camera i gotta be vigilant i gotta be vigilant because nowadays y'all already know when i went to the atm if y'all watched the shorts that i posted when i went to the atm the other day and hubby went inside the bank it was somebody camped out they had mcdonald's and everything anyway um so yeah, they was camped out. They had McDonald's and everything. Um, but yeah, so you gotta be vigilant, everybody. Oh, if I yawn one more time, one more time. Um, you gotta be vigilant because everybody out here doing the most, and like you already know. Let me get off this camera. Too many people. Okay, uh, guys. So we are home. And I am about to make some bacalaitos. These are like the best things on earth next to empanadas. Oh, um, <laughs> and I'm me and hubby about to have that for breakfast. I'm about to finish working, but I'm gonna show y'all how to make them or whatever. If y'all want to make them, this little box costs like a dollar, two dollars, and it feeds a lot. So, um, it's a good item for like big families, even though it's only me, Layla, and hubby. Um, it's a good item for big families, but nonetheless, I'm going to make this. I'm going to show y'all how I make it because everyone makes it different. Some people take actual bacalao and boil it and break it down and add it to that. But baby, we don't got time for all that today. Today, we just want some just regular old flow fish fritters with some coffee. That'll be breakfast. So let's okay, get to it. y'all. Don't laugh at my Halloween bucket, but, um, this is basically what I'm going to put in it. Well, this is what it looks like outside of the package and i know it already has seasonings and that's one thing about this you do not want to add salt because baby it's already salty so let me oh there's some of that in there because i love that and this already has parsley so i don't need parsley duh and i'm gonna put a little bit of obey just a little bit even though obey salty i'm gonna put a little obey Hold on, hold on, hold on, because I don't want to put too much. So I put a little bit of Obey to kind of like give it some color since I don't have Sasson, because usually I will put a packet of Sasson in here. And then you just add water and mix. And I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when I mix so it. This is what it looks like, y'all. Like, this is the kind of like consistency you want to get it. And you kind of, I, you kind of want to start with a fork to make sure you get all the clumps out as much as possible. But see how like nice and like pretty that mix looks? Yes, yes. This is really good to um put on um shrimp and fish too like like you know like before you fry it oh my goodness and i think 
I think I'm going to make this too. I think I'm going to make a uh, before it goes bad. So yeah, let's get this fried up and that cut up and because I'm hungry. Okay, y'all. Uh, so you take a spoonful basically and just put it in there and let it fry up. Make sure your oil nice and hot. You already know. Oh, baby. I'm so hungry. You don't understand. And then let me go cut this banana up. Y'all, I waited too long. Look at that. And I don't even feel like cutting it. I should just cut it off. But I don't feel like... Yeah, this is no good. Okay, let's turn these over. Yeah. Make sure they're nice and brown on both sides. I need to clean the stove. Y'all, let me tell y'all something about having a black stove. I love black appliances because they look so sleek and just... I, I, I like black appliances. But baby, when they get dirty, ooh, just a speckle. It just looks real bad. So I need to clean my stove. But let's take them out. Yes, baby. Crunchy. Now that's another thing. This type of um, food, you need to eat it hot right away. Like, like as soon as, as soon as like I have some in here, I'm about to put some more mix in here. But look at that. Look how. Look. 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 Look at that. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. And then look, you would think like it looks perfectly clean, but a couple of drip drops. I made pancakes this morning. Stop. Anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so good. But you have to eat this like hot and fresh. Why do I look like a fish? I'm done. Fresh coffee. I love it. I love to watch it come out the style. It's so fun. But let me close it before it starts spitting and spraying and burn me. Okay, guys, that's breakfast for me and hubby. Some <laughs> empanadas. I mean, empanadas. Oh, my God. Some bacalaitos. Don't that one look like a heart? Look at it. Right. Put it right here so you can see. It looked like a, like a real heart sheet. And some fresh coffee. Mine says French vanilla creamer. Of course. Okay, y'all. So, me and hubby about to sit here, have breakfast, and live our best life. Okay? <laughs> Because, oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Mm. Don't knock it till you try it. Mm. So, good. let me have breakfast with my husband. And because we have some shit we have to take care of today, can't really take y'all with me. But that's okay. And, um,. On my lunch break at work right and so yeah we're gonna eat and get back to you <laughs> it looked like a frankenstein <laughs> okay guys it's days later i'm sorry I, I put the phone down and just didn't pick it back up but i wanted to show you guys some things in our garden so, first and foremost i can only show you guys one side for now but look at the pumpkins look Look at the pumpkins. I'm gonna get up close. Look, look at them. Oh my goodness, they even have the little coily, cool, little coil coils growing. So I had four of them. Ooh, ooh, I have four of them. Hold on. I had four of them in here. As you can see, that one is kind of like died. But only these two, only those two lasted. So we have one over here and one over here. And hopefully, one is a male and a female so they can, um, sprout uh pumpkins if not we'll just have pretty flowers and we'll try again we have some avocados i don't know if y'all can see the roots are starting to grow it takes really long for an avocado um plant to grow as you can see this is an avocado tree and um she's still growing but i don't know what this little guy that decided to grow next to her I don't know what that is, and I'm so excited. It just keeps growing and growing, but yeah, she's growing. Y'all can still see the avocado seed. Yeah, and then over here, we have some tomatoes that are growing. Those are the tomatoes. And then you guys look at the strawberries. These are all strawberries. They're so, so tiny, 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 but they're all strawberries. Those are those guaranteed to grow strawberries that we got from Five Below. Look how teensy, weensy, weensy they're growing. And I don't know what this is. I don't know what, I think this is a, some type of flower. I don't know. 
But yeah, those are tomatoes. And we had one pumpkin back there, but she died. So I need to um, get that dirt up and use it for something else. But yeah, this is just ooh, ooh, a little portion of what we got going zones in the garden. I'll show you guys her. Look at how, I don't even know. First of all, we bought this for my daughter, right? And it was like this big. And she's so big now. Oh, no, did I bro Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm going to leave it alone because I just broke one. But she just is so big now. Like, I don't even know. She needs to be repotted. It's aloe. Aloe vera. Lord, I don't know. It's big, though. It definitely is big. Like I said, it was like this big when we got it. And now, look, it's like three times that size. So, And she had a flower growing out of her right here. But the flower died. Oh yeah, you guys. Oh, you see, you guys see how we have everything rigged up. But um, the watermelons that we planted died. Um, trying not to get. I don't want to. I don't want to get too much. But um, cause I don't want to get demonetized or excuse me, not demonetized. Excuse me. I don't want them to strike my video. Anyway. Um. We have the plants in the background that are like super long. I can't even show you how long they are because, let me see. If you can just kind of like see that, that's super long. Puppy, stop. Goose. Anyway, um, but the watermelons died. The seeds didn't germinate properly. Why is you, that was when my baby was a baby. He put her picture. So Le Lega made, Lega, Lega. Lega, that's fine. Layla made a Thanos Lego thing and then so he calls this Lanos because he put Layla's picture. Here, take this. The cat always trying to get in here. Anyway, let me get out of here because I don't want to drop nothing and I don't want to break nothing and I don't want, I don't, I just, I love it in here so much. You guys, sometimes I just come in here and I just drink my coffee and even though like, you know, it's not a backyard and even though it's not like, you know, a house or whatever. I have a happy place in my house, in my apartment, you know what I mean? And although my husband and I sacrificed a whole bedroom to have a garden and we moved our bed into the living room and kind of like sacrificed the living room and made it a bedroom, it does, it brings me so much joy. Um, I don't really care what people think. I don't care what no one has to say, oh, I bet in a living room. And you ain't got to sleep there. You ain't got to come here. You ain't got to be here. This right here. It does it for me. I just can't wait. I just, I just, for me, this is like preparing for something I want to do in the future that hopefully I can take you guys along the ride for, but I love this so much. It brings me so much peace. But anywho, let me, um, let me get up out of here. So yeah, you guys, um, that's why me and my husband also want to move. We want to get like a three bedroom. Ow! What are you doing? Stay Yo, he just bit the shit out of my kneecap. Uh-oh. Now true. Now true. Now true. Bobby! Y'all, let me see. That's probably because I kicked him out. Because when we go in there, he'll come in there with us. He'll lay down and just, he loves to be in there and the lights and the, he likes to walk through everything. But I don't, his dander can affect the plants and I don't want to do that. But anyway, that's why me and my husband was looking for a three bedroom um, before, um, you know, before because we still have a couple of things to do before we actually buy a house a home or whatever we just whatever god decides to put in front of us so we were thinking like damn it's not like i said before it's not too far off but it's far enough where we can look for another apartment and then i'm like everything included right this apartment is everything included and although um the neighbors Behind, when I come in my house, I'm on my business, right? And um, it's a decent apartment, so it's like, you know what? I'll just stay in this little two-bedroom. <laughs> exactly, until it's time to move on. Because it's like, damn, move from here to another apartment. And I know I keep talking about it. I know I keep saying, but it's frustrating because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to decorate this apartment really nice. I haven't had, since I moved here, I haven't had, like, I haven't had it in me to decorate. Every apartment I moved to, I decorate. This, this, I just haven't had it in me to, like, do a lot of decorating and stuff. But, because I'm so ready to move into my house. But, um, we must be grateful for the things we have in the now. 
um, because if you don't take care of them and you don't and you're not grateful for them once you elevate again you're you're just not gonna you're never gonna be satisfied or grateful but anyway nor are you gonna know how to take care of your shit when you do level up so that's neither here nor there i don't know what i'm talking to who needed to hear that maybe that was for me myself i don't know but anyway you guys um <laughs> No, I don't play with God. Y'all, hold on. Let me sit down. Y'all, I have to tell y'all this real quick. Let me tell y'all how ignorant, the level of ignorance that we're dealing with in today's world. First of all, don't mind the noise in the background because hubby cooking. He always in the kitchen. Okay? My husband's always in the kitchen. Mojo! Mojo! Pa! Pa! Papi! Pop. Headphones. Hold on, y'all. Anyway. Because um, he got headphones on. He can't. He. Anyway. So, I'm on my way to take my daughter. Excuse me. I'm on my way to go pick my daughter up from school. I'm looking for the lighter. And on my way. Hold on. Okay. So got a lighter anyway which i need to stop i need to stop but anyway that's neither here nor there we're gonna save that for the videos to come because I'm, I'm about to start quitting and i'm gonna post a shorts for 30 days on how it feels because i already know how it feels but maybe to encourage someone to quit with me go through this with me sis because homie we can't keep smoking these cigarettes anyway nonetheless i'm on my way to go get my daughter from school now mind you the road that I have to travel down to go get her has parking on both sides. So you got, you know, you got traffic one way and traffic another way. Then you got cars parked on the sidewalk. And then you got the traffic that's in between. So it's damn near four cars, right? <coughs> it's still a little bit enough space where two cars can go like this right while another car is double parked if that makes sense right so think about it you have curb car 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 then you have someone double parked right and then you can still you know you got your oncoming traffic and then you can still squeeze through that's what everyone does it's in front of a school people are picking their kids up so we go around mind you I'm on my way, and on this road in front of me is four school buses. So, they stop in front of the school, and I'm like, damn. So, the other traffic, right, is going. So, I waited until the traffic was down. You know what I'm saying? So, I can kind of, like, go around. So, that way, I ain't got to squeeze. Why the... I'm squeezing through... And this girl out of nowhere, grown ass woman out of nowhere, comes up and stops. She doesn't move over a little bit. Mind you, there was another car in front of her that was coming up. So the other car in front of her was coming up and there was a car and then she was behind that. That car squeezed through. We went by, right? And then she comes up. So we, I'm getting ready to squeeze by her. Everyone's driving slow, squeezing by. And she stops. She doesn't move over she doesn't she just completely stops so i'm like okay so we're gonna play chicken right that's the you know like when you're driving and someone else is driving and then whoever stops first whatever so i say you know what i was just me and my husband were just talking about god and i was just telling my husband i'm like yo we need to be vigilant and we need to be like 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 we we need not to be in a stupor right we need not to be like sad about anything ain't no reason to be sad about nothing anyway but we need not to be oh i don't got my earrings on we need not to be sad about nothing because the devil's working overtime right i was just telling him that i was just telling him how the devil's working overtime and he's trying to use people people's emotions and thoughts to penetrate and cause chaos and depression for no reason right because he's out collecting souls that's what he's doing that's his job that's what he's doing right and and us out here like fools 
not paying attention. Nonetheless, I was saying it to him. I, fi I had just finished saying that to him. And then this situation was happening. So she stopped. So now we're like this. We're like this. I'm more this way because clearly we're, we're, we're going to do the squeeze, right? So so I signal to her. I'm like, you know, like, go, like, you know, says go this way. So she just, she just sits there and stares at me with the evilest, nastiest, like, she, she in the car like this. And in my mind, I'm like, mind you, I was just talking to my husband about God. In my mind, I'm like, oh, she wants to see Project Giselle. She wants to see, she wants to see Giselle that grew up in the projects. She wants to see the disheveled, bowed it, bowed it, ready to, all of that, right? That's what she want to see. I said, I said to myself, in that moment, I literally felt a pause, and I was like, oh, I see the devil's revealing himself in this moment. I done spoke him up. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Okay? And then so, I said, okay. So, I guess the bus driver could <laughs> see what was going on and how the lady didn't want to move over just a little bit so we can get by. And so, he inched up a little bit. So, what I did was I went into the cuff because it was enough for me to dip in, right? And so I sat there, and as and the, as the bus driver moved up inch by inch, because again he saw what was going on, I just inched up. And when our window, now mind you, my window's all the way rolled down. Okay, my window's all the way rolled down. I'm a, I, I'm a cigarette smoker, so my window's always rolled down. Her window is cracked this much, and she got real dark tints. This much. Did this? Have the audacity, the gumption, the gall, the balls, like the ignorance level she had to have been in to say, to peep out the wind, not peep out, but like kind of like poke up like this because it was like this. She like, um, F you, um, uh, oh my God, girl, homie, she said fighting words. She like, F you, you effing bitch, um, you in my lane. Move the F out the way, calling me all types of hoes and this and that. And I, you know what I said? Right hand of God. Y'all know what I said to her? I said, ma'am, God bless you. Have a great day. Go with God. And may God go with you on your travels. And you know what she said to me, y'all, on everything I love? She said, F you and your God. I said, adios mio, adios mio. En mi mente. In my mind, oh my God, in my mente, oh my God, in my mind when she said F you, I was cool off the F you because I wasn't even, first of all, I was in the car with my husband. We was chilling, having a great conversation about God and about being attentive to what's going on in the world, right? And then for the devil to just show himself like that, that lady don't know me. And see, the crazy thing about it is I carry mace with me. I don't got time. Let me tell you something. Me and the type of person I used to be, I was... I was too ready to react to everything. Too ready to react to everything. As I got older and went through more trials and tribulations and now seeking God even more than I've ever in my life, I don't need to do none of that. I don't need to let nobody bring me out of character. I don't need that. Because in another life, I would have grabbed her through the little crease or maced her ass. But I didn't do none of that. All I kept saying was, Go with God. Go with God. May God go with you. God loves you. That's all I kept saying to her. And all she kept saying to me was, F you and your God. Y'all man, stay out of women problems. <laughs> man, stay out so of women problems. Boring. Yeah, my husband didn't say anything. He was just sitting there like, because he thought I was going to jump out the car. My husband knows me. He thought, and we was in front of a school too. And she just like, F you. I mean, she like, and F you and F God and F this. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, go with God. This? I'm sorry. Man, man, I'm like, go with God. She was so angry. And every time I said, God bless you, God bless you, she got more and more angry. She was saying, your God. Like it, like yeah, it's she was saying, she was like, F you and your right. God. Like, if it was more than right. one. In my opinion, question, baby, if you don't know, you like don't know. And if you know, you know. Like, stop playing. Uh, what? That's F you true. and your God. Excuse me? Excuse? <laughs> what? Let me tell you something. 
I really pray that God went with her and her travels because one thing for sure and two things certain that you don't play with. I don't care who it is, what it is, what's going on. You don't play about God. Now, if you feel uncomfortable if someone's talking about God or if you don't agree with someone's beliefs, you have the right to remove yourself. But you do not have the right to curse on anyone, especially God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was just, it was too much. Anyway, let me get up off of here, y'all, because I done rambled on. But that was like, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe. When I tell you, literally, me and my, com me and my husband were having a conversation about him about god and how you know like how he's gonna do amazing things for us in our life and how you know like we got to be vigilant and, and 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 just stay on top of things because the devil going to try to infiltrate continue to try and infiltrate every part of our lives he's tried to infiltrate our marriage he's tried to infiltrate our family he's tried to infiltrate our finances he's tried to infiltrate everything so why wouldn't he continue to as you level up in life right but baby let me tell you something that right there that was the pure devil walking she let the devil embody her from top to bottom because when you it's one thing if you if you see a female and you like oh she thinks she this shit you automatically putting what you think on what she is right it's your thoughts oh she thinks she this and she thinks she that you don't even know her and then you get into a whole argument with her about something so petty about driving when every every 20 now just because everyone is doing it doesn't mean it's right right so because everyone was squeezing through doesn't mean it was right so maybe i was wrong in trying to squeeze through and maybe she was right in saying that that's her line but baby everyone was doing it and not only that here's the kicker not only that even if i was wrong she had no right to do that and then the next day why was it cops out on that block directing the traffic and guess what the cops was doing they were squiggling everyone around the bus stop just because it's protocol. So again, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. She ain't had no right to do that. And believe me, honestly, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be here right now talking to y'all if I wasn't as close to God as I am. Because, baby, let me tell you something. I done had so many people test me in my life because I'm light-skinned or because because I'm a big girl or because of whatever or because I'm Spanish and they just want to test me like I, I'm not for the shits and I'm and I definitely used to be with the shits so for me to be in this position and to be so close to God and just be like uh-uh-uh Giselle don't let her bring you out that don't don't let her don't 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 let her bring you out your character is the bit in front of the babies at the school Girl, God was with me. That's all I had to say. In Jesus' name. <laughs> so, if y'all ain't get nothing out of this video today, walk with God, keep Him in the forefront, and be vigilant. Because people, everybody outside, we outside. Everybody finna be tested too. Why they outside? So why? My grandma always be like, <laughs> so I'm gonna tell y'all. You gotta watch. Anyway, I love me some y'all. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Virtual hug. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm telling you, God's army is rising. Make sure you on the right side, baby. Because it's only two. It's only one or two. You either with him or you're not. That's it. And if you're not, then you on the other side. Go with God. Virtual hug. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>